environmental issues have always been very important to Beyond Blue. We've been in business for 11 years, and that has always been uh, something that has been uh, important to us because it's the right thing to do for the planet and also because our customers are very focused on it. We at Sustainable Furnishings Council are very pleased to count Beyond Blue and Mitchell Gold and Bob Williams among our nearly 400 member companies. We are all about promoting a healthy future inside and out. So we are concerned with all the many uh, issues that fall under that wide sustainability umbrella. We do concern ourselves with many, many issues, but the issue of global warming is a particularly important one. Global warming is an urgent issue that doesn't get near enough attention. And so this is an opportunity to give more attention where attention is due. What do you think the situation with our environment is today? Do you call it climate crisis or environmental crisis, global warming? You know, there are some people that said, oh, well, they changed it from global warming to climate change because uh, it wasn't doing what they said it was going to do, so they had to come up with a new name. The way I like to look at this, there's a professor, of a really well-respected professor of atmospheric science at MIT, Kerry Emanuel, and I love the way he looks at this. He said, this is risk assessment. He said, it, you know, if somebody told you there was a 2% chance that if you let your two-year-old daughter cross the street without you holding her hand, that she'd get killed, would you let her do it? And, and the thing about it is, there is a chance. You know, scientists don't know everything. <laughs> there is a chance that something could happen or we'll learn something that maybe this won't turn out to be as bad as we had feared. But if we clean up the environment, and, and come up with better ways to use renewable energy, what have we lost? So I was so curious, when you changed, like, like was there a moment when it happened, an epiphany? There was a, a moment when it started, but the, the change was, was gradual after that. But I, I woke up one morning, which in of itself was a good thing, <laughs> um, and there was this gnawing question in my mind directed at me and the question was, Greg, are you doing the same thing the people you're criticizing are doing in the sense that you're only looking for information to support what you already think? And so I didn't change my mind that day. I simply said, you know, I need to be fair about this. I need to read the peer-reviewed literature. I need to talk to scientists who have actually done the research. And the more I did that, the harder and harder it became for me to say that we're having no effect.